I've survived one month of staying at home to before like this crazy week happens like starting from tomorrow from day 42 to like 42 43 44 45 46 yeah day 42 to 46 yeah sorry math major and yet still count with fingers haha <laughs> well day 41 i just want to share something really weird today and i'm not very sure how many of you actually did the mbti the myers briggs personality test and as of today, my MBTI changed. <laughs> uh, so I did the test like previously, I did the test three times. And I got ENFP, the latest one I think I got ENFPA. Like I wasn't very sure if I was turbulent or assertive, but I think most likely I was assertive. But as of today, I learned that for this circuit breaker, instead of ENFP, I became an ESFP. So previously ENFP was known as campaigner and now I am I've changed to an entertainer. So this is quite a weird and interesting discovery for this circuit breaker because I'm not very sure if any other people's MBTI would change like this circuit breaker. And also when I look at my results I realize ES starts for says for observance, so it turns out that my my personality between being intuitive and being observant actually is pretty borderline. So the re so today's results said that I was actually fifty four percent observant, and for the rest of the percentage, I was actually like. You know, I think if I were, if my math is right, it's like forty six percent intuitive. So yeah, it's kind of weird because when I when I answered the questions and they asked about how de how detailed versus big picture I am. I think for now I'm pretty half half but then I would say it's thanks to the fact that I learned stats and got really got, got really like into the details of the data of the data that data that you know has made me like more observant than more observant and detail oriented than like being intuitive and like thinking of things in the big picture and it could be something that I was actually trained to be like be more um, detailed in data and like learn how to make more data driven decisions. So yeah, it does it does get weird on how things actually like change like that. But also I made another discovery is that I am really borderline between being a thinker and a judger. No, not really a thinker or a judger. I would say being more perspective and be more judging yeah so I would say this is because it kind of depends on the mood that I experienced you today As, especially like I remember like all, in all my previous vlogs I talk about um, bad emotional check bad emotional check I think that was when I was very judging because I will probably just like end up saying stuff that you know, makes me feel like, oh, I'm actually judging you and all that stuff. But, yeah, it does get at some point of time that maybe this circuit breaker has, like, you know, developed what our personalities are going to be like if we stay at home for too long. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. Before this video gets very long, like, this part of the video gets very long. Um, and I really hope that it's going to be tough this week. But I really hope that 
eventually it'll probably get better. Okay, bye. Yo, it's day 45 now. 45. Yeah, so basically we're like about two and a half already through. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a short update before this crazy week of learning about um, finance and insurance ends like tomorrow. Although there will be there will be more uh, courses like in the next two weeks or so. Probably by that time, the circuit breaker will have like ended. And also, quick update on this poor boy right here. Three years later, officially destroyed this earpiece. Rip. So yeah, probably what's gonna happen is that tomorrow I'll probably just like um I have like another set of ear another set of ear pieces which I really hope that I really don't destroy it this time. Please not like this ever again. So yeah, I'm probably just like gonna change my earpiece tomorrow. And yeah. Just maybe at the same time when I'm free, catch up on what's going to happen once the circuit breaker ends on the first of June. So what's gonna happen right after second June? Like from second June onwards. Hmm. How is Singapore going to ease a circuit breaker? We'll see. Oh wait! Today is day 49? One more week to the end of Circuit Breaker? Wow, it feels very wild. And of course, I changed my earpiece, but as you can tell, I disconnected it because when I was re earlier when I was recording myself in the earpiece, I, could even, I barely can listen to myself, so I decided to talk like this. So basically, one more week to the end of Circuit Breaker. How am I doing? Emotionally screwed. Haha. <laughs> Because I think I already lost my patience of staying at home and I really just want to like leave the house when things start to get more normal. Ah, uh, can't wait. <laughs> um, and, I f and of course, I've been very very busy that's why I didn't film that much. Like I'm just focusing on my finance courses. Like I'm just studying for it at the moment. Yeah, so what's happening right now is that it's starting to have like a bit more noise now that since I live in front of two schools, I see that there's some students that are going back to school, but all of those that are coming back are graduating students who are taking their national exams this year. So they've decided to open the schools for these students to have like a couple of times they have like face to face lessons and other couple of times they still have to study at home. And also, when Circuit Breaker ends next week, on the 1st of June, uh, we're going to exit in three phases, so it's going to be really gradual. And I feel like, since it's quite hard for me to explain um, about these three phases, I will probably still continue vlogging to uh, share with you guys how, how does exiting Circuit Breaker in Singapore actually work. So... For each phase, we all don't know how long it will go for. There is no fixed duration about the length of the phase because the last thing we want is actually a resurgence of local cases. So the, so the timing of each phase is going to depend on the situation, it, which means that one phase can take longer than the other. It kind of depends. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the time when after the phases of the circuit breaker, we can actually go back to the normal we are used to. And even better, if a vaccine is found, I think we shouldn't be afraid, be afraid anymore. We shouldn't be living in fear anymore and like get ourselves vaccinated and yeah, just slowly get things back to normal. You know how much I have to talk like this with a new earpiece because the last time I wore this, this thing was so far away, like I barely could hear myself. So, two more days to the end of circuit breaker, I guess. So, if I'm not wrong, this is day 54. I've been really busy this whole week and 
I think right now it's a good time to talk about、um, what's gonna happen when we exit the circuit breaker in two days. So, circuit breaker is gonna end in three phases. The first phase will mean gradual resumption of some activities. So the first one is some businesses will gradually reopen. Schools will gradually reopen as well. Like, I think about last week or so, the graduating class has started to come back to school daily for classes. But for the rest of the cohort, those in the non-graduating classes, they alternate between、um, physical classes and home-based learning. Well, I think the other one that I have to take note of is receiving visitors in households, but only up to two, and they must be like, you know. Grandparents or like grandchildren from like the same household or something like that.、Um, still, stricter measures placed in commuting, like in public transport,、um, and some activities like among the senior citizens will gradually resume with some、um, safe dis- some stricter measures in place.、Um, some services will actually、um, open. So, for example, religious services will be open for like private worship only. Marriage solemnizations can be done with up to like ten people in the ten people in venue. I think there are a couple of、um, services like, for example, dental,、um, barber, hairdresser, like、um, all these. They will gradually reopen, but I think you. But I think these services will be by appointment only to like limit the number of people that they can do in the store. So that's phase one. Well, something that you still cannot do, you can't still, you know, meet up with people from different households. I.e., no social gatherings, no dine-in. Um, yeah. So, and of course, you still have to wear a mask when you go out. Haha. <laughs> so yeah. Basically, that's phase one. And if that all goes well, phase two might happen like next, like in the middle of June, but we have to like see the situation that is happening right now. Phase two is going to be slightly better. Like, I think they will increase the number of visitors in per household. That's number one. And number two,、um, dining will resume, but with restrictions. Social gatherings will also resume with restrictions. So, I think not a lot of people will act. So I think for people who are working, they might slightly look working or like seek into services that are not available the last time. They might look forward to phase one, but for those who are really keen on hanging out like me, I think people will be more looking forward more to phase two. So yeah, definitely really hoping that、um, there is no second wave. Of course, we are all scared of second wave, but. Yeah, I think that's about what's going to happen. Welcome to day fifty-five, which is the second last day of circuit breaker. So, how do I feel about circuit breaker ending tomorrow? Hmm. I feel like tomorrow doesn't feel like the end of circuit breaker, to be very honest, because I think even after circuit breaker ends, there will be not much activity starting. So, yeah. I just feel like tomorrow doesn't feel like the、really、end for me because I think even at phase one, I'll probably still have to stay at home, right? Yeah. So I think even starting from second June, of course, I, that's why I felt like I still need to vlog because also number one, especially towards the end of the circuit breaker, which is like this recent couple of days, I feel like I don't really film enough. But I think that's also because. I've been doing the same things over and over and over again. That I feel like there's nothing. If there's nothing interesting, I must well not document, right? So yeah, unless if I told you that probably in the end circuit breaker, I got sick of cooking, started doing delivery. Yeah, maybe that's the only interesting that I would say. So I think I am actually more looking forward to phase two as compared to phase one. So. <laughs> I'd say to all the meetups that I've delayed. See you at phase two. Pew. Okay. Excuse that.